Hello everyone, it's another episode of Blue Cat's Weapon Closet. Fortunately, I did not forget what weapons I had to do. It is the shipka and handguns. So, without further ado, let's start, shall we? We are going to examine the shipka first. So, based on its description, it deals 8 damage. It is currently inaccurate. So, there's a spread on the bullet. Originally, the gun had perfect accuracy, so there would be no spread on the bullet, but for some reason, it changed and now it has inaccuracy. So, I guess it's a good thing. Uh, it deals 8 damage standard, 9 damage maximum, and 6 damage minimum, just like it, an M4, or any other gun that deals 8 damage, or normal damage. It has a clip size of 40. That's a lot. However, you can just basically say that you have a clip size of 20, actually, because it shoots two bullets per shot. So you're only shooting 20 times before you have to reload. So it says 40, but just imagine if your clip size is actually 20. So you can only shoot 20 times before you have to reload. Reload time? It's very good, actually. Uh, it's going to be such a pain to get rid of this ammo. See, it's not bad of a reload time. And the freeze rate's okay. It's probably almost the same freeze rate as double AP7s. And, of course, as you can already know, it's issued two bullets per shot. So, I think that's actually all I need to cover about this gun. Uh, the price is 120000 It is a lot, and it takes a whopping large amount of your Grelat amount. But... If you get it, you will not regret it. That rhyme? That didn't rhyme, right? All I did was just say, uh, it two times. But anyways, enough with the Shipka. And now we're gonna move on to the handgun. I'm also gonna do the dual wield. So, handguns deal 5 damage normal, 6 damage maximum, and... Let's see, 3 damage minimum, I believe. Before, handguns used to have... 4 damage normal, um, 5 damage maximum, and 2 damage minimum. But for some reason, they boosted the damage of the handgun by 1, so it's 1 point stronger now. And it has a little bit of an accuracy, so it's not, it's not perfect accuracy anymore. It's good accuracy, it's not perfect. So that's a better thing. And the freeze rate is excellent. It's almost like one having one AP7, just weaker, and a bigger clip size of 10. Uh, it costs $250, I believe? Well, it's not even that much. And one more thing. <laughs> I just thought about this right at the last second. I gotta stop doing this. I gotta stop making like a list of all the components that I need to say about each gun. This gun would be PK recommended, base recommended, Spar, maybe not. Depends on how good you are. And streaking, most definitely. I streak with this gun more than enough. Anyways, this gun, however, I would recommend it for just PK and spar. Basing, not really recommended. Because if someone's at the flag, don't expect them to kill them this fast, that fast. And streaking, well, let's just say you're not doing enough damage to be a, a good enough streaker. Now, two handguns. The freeze rate is a little bit longer. It's still not bad. Uh, for some reason, the clip size isn't 20, it's 16. It's kind of weird. Because <laughs> with this, the clip size is 10. So that means each pistol can hook to 10 bullets. So how come this one will hook up to 16? <laughs> uh oh. What the hell is that? <laughs> Anyways, 16 clip size, same damage, it shoots two bullets per shot instead. Now, this gun is a lot more different than the MK23 or the AP7s or the Desert Eagle. And the reason is because the three guns that I listed, which is the MK23, the AP7, and Desert Eagle, they alternate whenever they fire. Hand this handgun shoots both at the same time. So just keep that in mind, and that could actually come 
a little bit in handy. The, how the hell did I do that? And that could come in handy. Lastly, the fire rate. It's okay. It's pretty slow. And a little bit of a fun fact. Um, when Grell Hour first came out for the iOS, the handguns had no freeze rate. So if you ever play Grell Zone and you shoot your gun, you know how you don't move whenever you fire? That's exactly how the handguns would have been like at the beginning of Grell. However, eventually, that was changed, as well as the Uzis. The Uzis had the same thing. It had no freeze rate. So you could just run and shoot without having to pause for a couple of seconds. And, um, handguns used to have perfect accuracy. Now they're a little bit inaccurate. So, it's a good thing. The gun, I would say, has greatly improved. Handguns, it would be... Not really PK recommended, not base recommended, not streak recommended, but spa recommended. That's what I would say. That's my final decision, <laughs> okay? Anything else you need to say about this? Not really. By the way, both guns here has no attachments. There are no attachments for it as of now. I believe the only gun that actually does have attachments is the M4. <laughs> so, I guess that's all I have to say about the handguns and Shipka. So, let's give us a little sneak peek of what we're going to do another time. Let's see. Let's do the Famous. And the... Everything is going really slow. And how about the water pistols? So next time we are going to do the Famous, which is an assault rifle. And the water pistols, which are pistols. Obviously. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And don't forget to leave your opinion on Blue Cat's weapon closet.